Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would show you a tutorial on how to make this beautiful baby girl nursery sign. I had already assembled my pallet wood sign and so I took just some regular house interior paint and then watered it down, mixed it up to make my own whitewash. Then I went ahead and painted it on and used a foam brush. Once I got a good coat on, I went ahead and made sure to get the sides all finished and I also painted the back so that everything is matching and cohesive. I thought there was a little bit too much of the yellow color coming through the wood, so I went ahead and took a paintbrush and took the straight thick paint and went ahead and put a second layer on. Next I took my stencil that I had already cut out with my Cameo Silhouette machine using contact paper peeled off the backing and went ahead and placed it. Since this was a larger sign, I had to have two separate stencils for the different designs. For this project, I chose to use the Waverly Elephant chalk paint, and I always like to use the Waverly Pouncing brush. So like I always like to remind you guys, use a little bit of paint because the less you use, the less that it'll bleed. You can always go back and give it a second coat, a third coat, um, but once it bleeds, you've kind of ruined it. So you always wanna make sure not to use too much paint. Once you've got all your paint on, let it dry for a little bit, and then you get to peel off your stencil. This is always my favorite part. Go ahead and take a razor blade or a toothpick and peel out those negative center pieces. The person I was making this for really wanted some gold, but it wasn't popping enough on the white. So I went ahead and outlined some of the gray parts just by hand painting on this metallic gold color to help it pop. This next part is really cool. I bought these wood flowers and they come just plain colored. And so I wanted to dye them a pink color. So I went ahead and watered down some acrylic paint and dipped them into it. One of them had a center and I thought it would look good, just painted this pale yellow color. I also had a couple that I painted this gold color, the same metallic gold, so that way it was sort of making it all blend together well. Next I used some E6000 and also some hot glue. The hot glue helps it stick right away, the E6000 helps it really stick forever. <laughs> And I went ahead and put it on each one of the edges of the flowers on the back and then glued them down. I absolutely love how this turned out. Here's some close-ups where you can see the different gold highlights that I gave it, the flower arrangement I chose. It turned out amazing and the customer that I made it for loved it. This is such a sweet and beautiful thing to put in your first baby girl's nursery. I was so happy to be a part of it. 